Now, you just had a daughter this past month? Yeah, man, my little Myra, baby, man. Yeah. First child? Nah, this is my third child. Third child? Yeah, yeah. First daughter? Yeah. What's that like? Shit, that shit is amazing, man. That shit like, that shit like a new bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit like a new breath, man. That shit like being reborn. Like, when she was born, I felt like I was reborn. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit precious. Like, I call I call her mama phone every day. Like, what up? You know, send me some pictures. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. I love that shit. That, that really, like, like, you know, I'm in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that really, like, steer you. That steer you. you but it's it's one thing to have, I mean, you're a guy. So, it's one thing to have sons but right. a daughter right what's the difference there shit like that shit just do you notice a difference for you yeah i know the difference because like it just it just steer you you know what i'm saying it humble you you know what i'm saying like they 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 features different you know you a boy is a boy like i love my boy you know what i'm saying like she just she have a different smile you know what i'm saying she have a different texture of hair like she she a female, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to do right by her. I can't be out here trying to prove no point to no nigga or no bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, she way more important than that. So, if I got to get on my grind in a different matter, you know what I'm saying? Or if I got to stay around there and, like, change my ways, I'm going to do that for her. So, that's what it's like. That shit the business, man. For real. Is it different because it's a third child or is it different because it's a, a daughter? Man, or is it a combination of both? It's me. It's me aging. It's a time, man. It's a time thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting older. I ain't getting younger. And I actually just had a child, so like I gotta, I gotta be there for her. You know what I'm saying? Fuck being there for anybody else in the streets and trying to pull a point to anybody. I gotta prove to her that I can stay here and last. You know, we just touched on the matter about the deaths and which is a bunch of hatred or irrelevant matters, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't trying to be caught up in all that. I'd rather be with my girl, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my little lady. How old were you when you had your first child? I was like 18. Fresh 18? Yeah, like fresh 18. Sticking my dick in anything. <laughs> now, when it comes to music, have you incorporated your children in your music at all? I actually got a song for my first two children, and I just told my BM last night, man, I'm going to make my baby a song, you know. She said, get out of here. I'm like, nah, real, I'm talking about make her a song, make her own song. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know. But what about, like, including their voices in any of the music? Yeah, my song, my son on CM3. Oh, okay. Yeah, CM3 he, hasn't come out yet. Yeah, right. but he on it. That's why I say we we spoke on the features. He a feature. He on uh, he on the introduction. Oh, yeah. okay. I see. That gonna be my new artist. <laughs> In regards to just music, period. Uh, have having the three children over time has that changed your music or the direction of your music? I know maybe personally it may have changed you, but what about music wise? Fuck no. I still be talking about the same shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you know, I I gotta I gotta do I gotta do what it takes to take care of them, you feel me? And, I mean, if, if they if they want something, if my baby tell me to come make a song saying A, B, T, one, two, fucking three, I'm gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't on nothing like that right now, so I'm dumping what they, I'm dumping what's feeding them. So I'm dumping in the streets what's feeding them, you know what I'm saying? Obviously you just had the daughter, but the other two, two sons, do they have aspir? I mean, you put one of them on a song, but do they have aspirations of music? Do you see that already, or are they just playing around? Like, like Baby Kane, he, he, he got a swag with him. Like, he really, like, he be swagged out. He, when I be playing music, he be, you know what I'm mm. saying? He be in his own, so I know, I feel like, I feel like he do a little something, you know what I'm saying? So your kids listen to your music? Yeah. Is there an appropriate age for those kids to listen to your music? I mean, like, at the same time, you can't help it. You feel me? Like, say, for instance, if his mama got to be somewhere and I got to, it's my time to spend with my boy, I'm not finna leave him stuck at his house, at the house alone. And if his interpretation heavy, if he pick up on shit easily, like, some, I mean, he know not to go in certain places and repeat what he heard, you know what I'm saying? But if he in the studio and he, and he feel like that's jamming, because look, other motherfuckers, he listen to other people, you know what I'm saying? He got other people, he might be on YouTube. He got YouTube, he old enough. 
So we got YouTube, all them other things. And if he in the studio with me and he feel like some jamming and he recited, I'm all for it. I'm going to salute him, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like he paying attention. How far apart are the kids in age? Yeah. Like, like uh, four years and six years. Everybody get along? Yeah, everything great with me, man. I take care of my business. Mm. Same mother for all three? Nah, different. Three different? It's ratchet. I'm <laughs> ratchet. Yeah, whole, whole house ratchet, you know. <laughs> whole house ratchet, man. Are Shit you, like that. Are you on good terms with Yeah, you? everything gravy, man. You hear me? I'm talking about gravy, gravy. For real. Because I do what I'm supposed to do, though. Do the, do the mothers get along? Man, it's gravy. Ain't that I can't I can't sleep with all of them at the same time, but it's great. How do you make it work? I know I people did. when I ask a question like this, you might not be such a positive answer or response like you give. Yeah, people be confused, man. I ain't confused. I ain't no fucking punk or no shit like that. Man, punks confused, you know what I'm saying? Punks and fucking dykes. I ain't confused, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like it, I know how to deal with my, my problems, my demons and shit. Mm, I see. Any advice for somebody that has to deal with multiple baby mothers? Take care of your churn. And uh and my little Tyreek and Nate boys, take care of your churn, Nick. You hear me? That's all, man. Take care of your responsibility. That's all, man. You're gonna be just fine. Having three kids, just in general, period, easy or hard? It's easy. Because they didn't ask to be here for one. And for two, I laid down and made my bed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm laying in that bed, you know what I'm saying? For three, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do to take care of my business, the business, you know what I'm saying? Doing what I do. Easy or hard maintaining a rap career and having multiple children? It's, 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 it's leveled out. It's the business, like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? The only thing they might get out of it, it ain't for, it ain't no financial matter. So the only thing they probably getting out of it is time, uh, a little a little time, you know what I'm saying? But you know, like I do shows, so I'm mainly gone on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? But throughout the week I'm there with them, you know what I'm saying? Or if I'm going on a tour or some shit like that, like they gotta respect it. Or we we gonna lay down this foundation and I'm gonna take care of home and I'm gonna take care of them so they can know when I get back to this bitch, you know what I'm saying? That's when I get back. I'm finna be gone for a little while. But y'all gonna be straight, I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna holler at y'all. They mamas, they people, I'm gonna holler at them so they know I be on the road. It ain't nothing for me to hit their mama like, look, I'm in the A right now. They gonna be cool with the business because when I get back, they're gonna take care of business. Do you ever take them on the road with you, the kids? Yeah, I took Baby Kane with me last time. I took Kane to Troy with me to, uh, I brought him out here. Took him to Six Flags and shit like uh. that. But them niggas ratchet though. Mm. They don't be tripping on nothing like that. <laughs> does it, being that this is your third child, does it get easier because you've done it already once or twice? Now nah, you know, I was actually, I was actually incarcerated with my second child. Oh. Or whatever, for like majority of the time, you know what I'm saying? But it relationship so good, like I don't do no fuck no shit. Like probably when we were going together, I might have dipped in the dabble in the side, but like it all worked out for the best, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm still a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a street nigga, so I'm a hood nigga but a good nigga. So they it's something that they see in me, they like in me that I do while we had dealings, while we had dealings. So it ain't bad off, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it'd be like that. So with the second child you weren't able to be there to see the birth. And but I still was, oh no, I was there to see the birth, but right after I went to there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. I got you. Now, what's the hardest thing about having multiple kids, in, in your case, three? I don't feel like nothing hard, man. I take care of my business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I take care of my business. They love me. Best thing about having multiple children? I mean, it's, 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 it's life, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ain't nothing like that shit, man. That's life, man. I created that. That's my creation. For real. Do you ever look at your kids as an investment? Nah, I ain't never done no shit like that. Mm. <laughs> Fuck, no. I mean, I'm probably, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a help their mothers raise them, uh, you know, make sure I try to steer them in the right direction, too, 
actually have a promising career, you feel me? But I ain't trying to wreak nothing out for it, because I yeah. feel like I like to hustle. I like to hustle and pay bills and shit. So I feel like I'm going to be doing that till I can't no more. Like I that. See. Do you have a favorite child? Nah, I don't. I all love my babies. I love them all equally. Now, just uh, somebody watching this, let's say they have multiple kids or just about to have multiple kids themselves, maybe their second child now or their third, like you just had. Right. Any advice, generally speaking, to somebody with multiple children? Nah, man, just, just, just maintain your situation, like home, you know what I'm saying, health, wealth, and shit, you should be good with the mothers and the people you have to deal with. Don't send them to school smelling like weed and cigarettes and shit. <laughs> Would you ever consider doing a reality show? I fuck with that shit. Like, how much they how much they paying? I don't know, but I'm putting that in the air. But look, let curious. me tell you something crazy though. Say small man, I swear, like me and my me and my baby mama, like, like everybody, like see us, they know us, you know what I'm saying? We done had good times, we done had bad times, more good times, but everybody be like, man, y'all ought to try to try for a reality show. Cause we be having buku crazy shit come on going on, man. We might you might catch us scuffling in the middle of the parking lot and shit, and then you might catch us taking some beautiful ass pictures next week. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it just be crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit be going on, scumbag assholes be all in the DMs telling I'll be trying to fuck on them and shit. It be like that, so, like, you know, we have different situations going on, but we actually got a good-ass relationship, like, we cool as fuck. We take care of all our kids, we, we take care of home and shit like that. We look good, we look decent, we ride forms, you know what I'm saying? We iced up and shit, big-ass ring on our fingers and shit. And people be like, how the fuck y'all doing when y'all just be ready to kill each other right day before? But that's my dog, you know what I'm saying? That's my dog. Like, everybody ain't got that type of relationship, that love-hate relationship that can't nobody invade, you know what I'm saying? Like, you there. So it be like that, you know what I'm saying? So if a motherfucker won't take it back from me, I'm going to say, make sure you take care of what you need to take care of. Like I say, I'm a genuine nigga, but I'm still street, you know what I'm saying? So she like both sides. She like my street side, but she hate that shit. She like my genuine side. You know what I'm saying? So I'm winning. Like I'm overpowering the shit.